Drones and their capacity to kill without risking an operator's life are still a technological novelty to many of us. Using a human's reasoning, a robot drops a bomb. But what about a human with all his reasoning shooting a gun, facing down bullets inside the robot? Think of Tony Stark. We all feel a little jealous when Iron Man barges into the bad guy's lair, ready for battle but fully protected and with superhuman strength and awareness. Well, the U.S. Army may soon have its own divisions of Tony Starks running around before you know it. Enter the Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, or Talos, currently under development. Most are calling it the Iron Man Suit. Though the Army does insist, it won't fly. Soldiers wearing the suit will eventually have a powered exoskeleton for added strength, liquid armor for greater ballistic protection, built-in computers, night vision, GPS, sensors for monitoring vital signs, hydration needs, temperature control, and the ability to apply wound sealing foam. Three unpowered versions will be delivered for testing in just a few weeks, but the suit's full capabilities aren't known yet. The U.S. Army is working with corporations, government agencies, universities, and laboratories across the country to develop a tallow suit so complete it will make our special forces of the future look more humanoid than human in just a few years' time. In fact, Talos was a ferocious Greek mythical figure of bronze who circled the shores of Crete three times daily to protect Europa from invaders. Now, U.S. personnel won't be wearing full bronze like him, but much like him, they will enjoy a fully integrated system of powers instead of added on components hanging everywhere and weighing the wearer down. Talos isn't exactly designed for the infantry to win the hearts and minds of people. It's designed for busting down doors, doing business, and surviving. So they'll mostly go to the special forces and maybe a few billionaires who wish they were Tony Stark. In Washington, Lindsay France, RT. Iron Man may no longer be a movie fantasy. Now the U.S. Army is developing a tactical assault light operator suit designed to provide soldiers with superhuman strength and greater ballistic protection. The Iron Man armor suit can monitor a soldier's heart rate, hydration levels and core body temperature. The suit would respond to the data supplied by an onboard computer hooked up to sensors to keep a soldier in the optimum condition for battle. The body armor can transform from liquid to solid in milliseconds when a magnetic field or electrical current is applied. If a soldier is wounded, the Talos suit would monitor their health or even stop the bleeding using a wound stasis program. While an exoskeleton likely powered by hydraulics gives the wearer superhuman strength, the lightweight suit will also provide the wearer with night vision, increasing a soldier's mobility. Antennas provide capacity for communications. Like all good superheroes, however, Talos has a weakness, as it currently needs a heavy hydraulic pump or battery to help operate all the high-tech equipment. Imagine if superheroes could fight in war, armed with the ability to repel bullets and communicate with orbiting drones to locate enemies. Sounds like something out of the movies, and of course it is in Iron Man. Which means you think it's totally far-fetched, right? But the thing is, it's a real idea that could hit the battlefield as early as next year. Barbara Starr is out front. Iron Man's powered suit of armor and high-tech weapons help him protect the world. And that is exactly what America's top commando, Admiral William McRaven, wants when his men have to kick down a door. He has got to open that door, not knowing what's on the other side. He's got to be in a position to be protected as soon as that door comes open. McRaven has ordered up the Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, better known as the Iron Man Suit. The idea? Lightweight armor protection, possibly with battery power flowing through it to give a soldier extraordinary ability to move faster and operate longer in battle. Former Navy SEAL Chris Heben says the suit can make commandos even better. It is going to take a super soldier, a SEAL, a Green Beret, a Delta Force guy, and push him into a stratospheric level. Uh, what people don't realize is all these technologies exist already, but they exist separately. So they're taking them all and they're putting them together and they're adding some pretty cool things like liquid armor that becomes hardened uh, on a, a, in a millisecond. There are plenty of ideas. Imagery from drones or satellites overhead right into the helmet visual display. Boots that generate electricity with every step a soldier takes and flexible head-to-toe protection so troops can move closer to the enemy. If they can work out the bugs 
and, and, and get it to where it's functional. And it, it's going to allow, it's going to take a group of guys that are already extremely high functioning on the battlefield and make them completely unstoppable. McCraven wants the first version of an Iron Man suit within a year. For out front, Barbara Starr, the Pentagon. Amy, well, the Pentagon says it's too soon to estimate how much it's going to cost, but according to MoneySupermarket.com, Tony Stark's Iron Man suit would cost $7 billion. AC360 starts now. Well, Iron Man about to step out of comics and movies and onto the battlefield. Turns out our military is close to unveiling a real-life Iron Man suit. A Navy admiral confirming several prototypes are currently in works and testing could soon begin. Trace, do you want to try one of these on? I would, but they're kind of heavy, you know. I don't know if I can carry that weight. You know, the official name, Jenna, is called Tactical Assault Light Operations Suit, or TALUS, and the reason they call it Iron Man is, take a look for yourself, is because it looks a lot like the Marvel Comics hero outfit, as you can see on the right-hand side. And you talk about a team effort in this thing, 56 corporations, 16 government agencies, 13 universities, and 10 national labs are involved in development. The initial prototypes are meant mainly for defense using liquid armor that shifts from liquid to solid in like milliseconds, which means that warriors would be impervious to gunfire and shrapnel. Now, the suits will also have their own air and oxygen and heat supply, and if for some reason a soldier is wounded, the suit may stop the bleeding by releasing a medical foam and then would monitor the soldier's vital signs. Now, the Iron Man suits will likely be used at first by elite units. We're talking Navy SEALs and Army Special Forces, but General Bob Scales says these suits are way overdue. Listen. This is very, very basic cutting-edge technology that could be brought online within two to three years. It's all a question of will and money and a change in priority away from big ticket systems into individual soldiers, close combat soldiers, the guys that need it most. Keep in mind, at some point, these suits may have offensive capabilities, but warriors, of course, have to remain nimble, so weight is always a factor. And the more features you have, the more batteries you have to have, and that gets awfully heavy. By the way, the prototypes should be arriving sometime in June, Jenna, and they say by 2018, these things could be fully operational in the military. Pretty cool. I love it. Very cool. Trey, thank you. Psalm 2. Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder, and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet. Have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion? I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Is it Akira? Look, it's Lord Akira! Don't be fooled! This isn't the rapture! He's a false messiah! Oh, shut up! Oh, live, Akira! Akira! Fire! What the? What's wrong? 